One of the niches on YouTube where content creation is relatively easy is the data comparison channels niche. Here are some examples of such channels. The idea is to create data cards and animate them from right to left over a specific duration. These videos are typically made using Canva or PowerPoint templates. Even though creating such videos doesn't require much skill, just imagine how much time it would take to manually create this content. The process would be monotonous, repetitive, and tiresome. Fortunately, starting from today, you won't have to create such content manually. That's because I've developed a Python bow that will handle all the routine work for you. All you need to do is fill in the data table, configure the card design parameters, and video length, run the code, and you'll get video files ready for uploading to YouTube as output. With numerous design parameter settings, our videos will stand out favorably among competitors' videos. I've integrated transparency support for the cards, the ability to create gradients, automatic scaling and cropping of overlaid images, the option to add multiple text blocks and images, automatic overlay of flags from any country, customizable colors, borders, margins, corner rounding, and much more into the tool. But that's not all. I've also added the option to create additional text cards at the beginning, middle, and end of the video. These cards can be used to set the video title, specify the channel name, include calls to action, and express gratitude for watching. Never before has creating videos for comparison channels been this fast and effortless, and they've never been of such high quality. With the comparison bot, you now have the opportunity to earn money in this YouTube niche with minimal time and effort investment. The bot's code has been thoroughly tested and works excellently on both Mac and Windows, and I'm giving it to you absolutely for free. Before we proceed, don't forget to subscribe and like this video. Also, make sure to watch this video until the end as I'll demonstrate how to use our application to generate videos for Love Stars channels. All right, now we're ready to begin. Let's explore the principles of how our software works. Part one, working principle, libraries, technologies. The primary material for our video is the image, which we generate using the pillow library. The bot generates the specified number of slides individually and then stitches all the slides into a single long PNG image. Next, this image is used to create an animation by sequentially generating frames, which are then combined into a video. For animation creation, I initially started using the MoviePie library. However, during development, I realized that MoviePie doesn't handle transparency and alpha channels well. Hence, instead of MoviePie, I switched to using the OpenCV library along with the NumPy library for image processing and animation creation, taking alpha channels into account. Once the video is generated, it's combined with an audio file to form the final video. This is done using the MoviePie library. Now that we understand the application's working principle and the technologies being used, we're ready to proceed with its installation. Part two, application installation. Create a project named Comparison Bot in PyCharm. Then download the bot's files using the link provided in the description and move them into the project folder. Next, open the terminal and execute the command to install the necessary packages as specified in the requirements.txt file. Now, let's explore the structure of our bot. The bot comprises four files, config image generator, video generator, and audio merge PI files. The config file contains all the variables for configuring the generated images. We will run the image generator from the image generator file, the video generator will be launched from the video generator file with video generation settings located at the top of this file. The audio merge file is used to combine video files with audio files. Now, let's move on to video generation. Part three, application settings and launch. Prepare images for your video and copy them to any folder on your disk. It's recommended that all images have the same height. Copy the paths of the images after selecting them. Next, open the data folder in our project where you'll find a template CSV file for inputting data for image generation. You can use this file or create a new CSV file with the same columns. Open the file and paste the paths of your images into the first column. In the second column, input the text that should be displayed below the image. Fill in the remaining columns as needed depending on the data you want on your cards. For instance, let's activate the overlay of country flags. Enter the country name in the country column. The flag images are located in the flags folder. For the flag to overlay, the country name in the table should match the file name of the corresponding PNG file. If necessary, enter a title for the first text slide in this cell. We will delve into the star block and the text in star column. In the bonus section when generating videos for the Love Stars channel, after entering the data, save the file. Now go to the config file and make sure that the saving and merging option is activated. Run the code from the image generator file and evaluate the result. 
and refine it by adjusting the necessary colors, sizes, and margins using corresponding variables. If needed, adjust transparency, enable gradients, change image scale, or crop it to height. If required, add additional data in the SESV table. If you need additional slides, activate their creation using this variable and adjust the necessary texts and fonts with the variables below. Run the code and the image ready for animation will be saved in the longs folder. In this way, we've prepared an image for one video. If you want to prepare images in bulk for multiple videos, simply create as many CSV files as needed videos in the data folder. Then run the bot and it will iterate through all these files, saving the generated images in the longs folder. Go to the video generator file and scroll to the top. I've placed the variables for configuring the video here. The key settings are establishing the video length range. From minimum to maximum, the video length will be randomly calculated within this range, ensuring videos aren't of uniform duration. So input the necessary values. Also set pauses at the start and end of the video if needed using these variables. Place images that will be used as video background overlays in the backgrounds folder. If required, set the beginning and ending animation offsets and frames using these variables. Run the file and wait for the generation to finish. The completed video files will be saved in the video folder. Place the MP3 files you want to use for merging with videos in the audio folder. Run the file. Videos with overlaid music will be saved in the video with audio folder. You can upload them to YouTube, part 4. Generating videos for Love Stars channel. In the bonus section, I promise to generate videos for a Love Stars channel. I'll clarify right away that you probably won't get monetization on such a channel, but these kinds of videos garner a lot of views. And views mean traffic, and traffic means money. Prepare images with Love Stars, copy their paths, and input them into the table. Now activate the star section in the config file. Leave the text and star column in the table empty. In this case, the bot will automatically insert the slide number here, which will serve as the rating. Let's also activate the overlaying of country flags by filling in the corresponding column. Run the code and see what you've got. If you want to replace the star image with another one, simply place the desired PNG image in the data folder and name it star. If you want something other than a rating in the center of the star, say an age, input it in the text in star column in the table, and modify the text that appears under the star in the config file. Another important point. If you wish to generate multiple videos from a single data set, input all the data into the CSV file, then activate randomization using this variable in the config file. Limit the number of slides for one video in this part of the code and run the code multiple times. That's it for today. I hope you enjoyed Comparison Bot and that it will help you earn money on YouTube. In the upcoming videos, we will focus more on traffic acquisition and earning through affiliate marketing. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video.